right, so today I'm going to be showing you guys how to set up your PS5. Book it. There's mine under there, not lighting up because it's not on, or looking that good because it's surrounded by a bunch of messy wires. But I'm going to be showing you guys how to set up your PS5 in your Elgato HD60S or Elgato HD60S Plus. They are technically the same thing. This is the regular, just the S, no plus. There would be a plus after the S if you had the HD60S Plus. But they do the same thing. They have the same exact ports. They literally do the same thing. They just, one does 4K, one doesn't. Okay, your boy B. Jones back. So all I have done is I have turned my PlayStation 5 for you guys, it'll be a little bit different. Uh, don't connect your PlayStation to your capture device or anything yet. The first thing you have to, and I mean absolutely have to do, is go to the system settings, go to HDMI. By default, this will be turned on. So click it, and this is what it will usually be. Like. This means it is turned on. When HDCP is turned on, it means high definition content protection, which means everything's being protected. You cannot record it. That's that. Now, when you turn it off, as you can see, connect back to my Elgato, giving it the permission to say, hey, you can use your capture card to stream, record, make content, do whatever you need to do. So, from there on, uh, now we move on to the actual capture, setting up the capture device itself. And um, I will be right back and I'll get a camera on it to show you guys how you should set it up wire wise, how to hook it up to your computer. How to hook it up in OBS for settings and all the things that you can so be back. All right, chat, I'm back. Um, hopefully the video inserted and did what it need to do, you know. All right, chat. So first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna get the HD60 or your HD60, 60s, 60s plus, whatever it is you may have whatever variant and we're gonna i'm gonna show you how to set it up so this is what it will look like out of the box don't mind mine is very old it's been used thousands of hours moved all that scratched up all that so first thing first is you're gonna take the hdmi cord from the back of the playstation 5 and you're gonna plug that to the in port because you want the signal to go in to that okay so book it i have it plugged in now so the playstation from out of the PlayStation to into the capture card. And now we go from out, the outside, the other side, the outside, we plug our cable in from that into our monitor. As you can see, along these other wires, you have to trust me, this wire goes into the back of my monitor. So what we have is from PlayStation, capture card, capture card, monitor, okay? Do not forget that. And everything else, the USB-C, you just plug that in wherever it's supposed to go on here. Give me a second. Book it. That's plugged in. I also have the Elgato Party Chat link, which allows me to have party audio. Um, if you have a PS5, no Astro headset, you will need this Elgato Party Chat link. It allows you to basically play multiplayer games and on streams and in your recordings. Oh, if I can get it plugged in It allows you to record the audio of everything going on. So one last time. I know it's a mess. Don't mind my toes HDMI to the end in out to the monitor USB-C gets plugged in here into your computer and if you have if applicable to you party chat link cable and this gets plugged into the controller So now I'm going to show you guys how to set it up on the computer want to go to Elgato's website because you need to download, you need to go to their download. And you need to select your product, which is HD60, 60S, or 60 Plus. All these use the same capture uh, application, we'll say. If you're on Windows, you select Windows. If you're on Mac, you select Mac. On Mac, I suggest you don't use a Mac, but you got to work with what you got. So for me, when I had it, I clicked HD60S because that's what I have. Boom, it's gonna say you can use the 4K capture utility or the game capture. I recommend downloading the game capture. Me personally though, as you can see on my computer right here, I have I have multiple Elgato, Elgato stuff. So after you download it, you know you would open it up, whatever, yada, yada, yada. So let's say you downloaded the game capture. You would just start this up. 
And I'll drag this over here so you guys can see. As you're just trying to connect to my cam link, you don't want to. You want it to connect to the Game Capture HD 60S. It needs to be connected. Chat, okay, uno momento, I messed up. Be right back. All right, chat, I'm back. As you can see now, the game's popped up. You can see, I'll make it full screen just so you guys can see everything. Okay, as you can see, we have the game pulled up. It is uh, working, it is capturing my, audio, my thing. As far as audio, it is not capturing audio because of how my settings are. So, what we are using, we are using a PlayStation 5, but it's basically a PlayStation 4. Analog audio, it defaults to HDMI, so your sound will come out to HDMI. As you can see, the game audio just switched on. Hear it now, over here. Um, HD 1080, 60 FPS, the best quality. My computer can handle it. That's what I like to run at. These are settings you want to start off with here. I'm going to show you how to use this in your OBS stream labs. Everything except for XSplit because I don't use it. I mean, it's not garbage. Here, you want all these settings like this picture. You know, if you care for brightness, saturation, all that stuff, you can change it. Your audio is too loud or too quiet, you can change it. And if you got multiple profiles for different games or you got multiple people who are on your computer, just go ahead and switch that too. So from here, now that we have it showing up in here, we can close this out. We'll say this is basically not even needed anymore. That's just used for the essential setup. So moving forward, oh shoot, I have, I'm using OBS right now. So we'll open Streamlabs and I'll show you guys how to, I'm using OBS to record this video. So I'll use Streamlabs. Streamlabs and OBS are pretty much basically the same thing. OBS is basically the simple starter, do more with. Streamlabs is the, okay, we kind of got everything integrated for you. You know, let us help. So, first thing that happens when I start up my, I start up my Streamlabs, it looks like this. Point, you see, we have a scene and there's nothing in the source. So the first thing we're going to do is make a video capture device. Because we have, as you can see, we want our, you guys would do a new source instead, and you would do like HD 60S or plus or HD 60, whatever you have, you could put that in, okay? Me, I already have it on there. It is the HD 60S, so I'm going to do add source. As you can see, it pops up, and boom. I'll just hit a little transform, hit the screen, and then call it, boom, automatically does it. And see, from there, pretty much ready to stream. All you would have to do is go into your settings, get your stream, or you can log into each one of your streams. Make sure you guys do me a favor. Make sure you guys go to Facebook. Make sure you guys drop a follow and a like on the videos for me at Gaming with Jones. Make sure you check out my YouTube, OMG, that's B Jones. Make sure you follow me on all social media for more videos. Make sure you guys smash that like and subscribe button. This helps you if you've gotten progress so far. Hopefully, I can answer some questions for you guys. So, Due to this YouTube, I'm probably awkward. I look funny. I don't got on tight clothes. My background's going in and out. Came here to get. But you know, I know what I'm talking about. I promise. This is the this is some great tech support. So as you can see, we're logged into these different def these different destinations where we can stream to. Um, basically, long story short, I'll run through some of my settings. So if you're like on Facebook trying to you know get started, you can be like, okay, well those are some general settings. So me. Simple, 6,000 bit rate is 1080, 60. You cannot do 1080, 60 if you're not in a level up program on Facebook, which you can do it. YouTube, I'm pretty sure you can do it. Mixer doesn't exist anymore because who knows? But anyways, audio bit rate 160. I have a folder form. I record in high quality because I have a lot of space for it. And when I make clips, I want them to look good. Audio doesn't really matter. I start, I play on a 4K monitor, but I out scale, I scale it to like I stream in 1080. So I have to downscale it. I play in 60 FPS. Um, I have a bunch of hotkeys for my stuff. Advanced, you don't got to worry about anything. And yeah, that's pretty much it. So as you can see, we have it set up and everything. Um, you guys probably can't hear that much audio, but that is because it's playing speakers. Anyways, long story short, if you have your HD 60S to capture audio, see mine is on custom because I have it doing all. But see, capture audio on so boom. As you can see, this is moving up. Google, see this HD 60S right here? That's uh moving up and down. That gives that indicates that we have volume. As you can see, when I 
speak on the microphone, this goes up. We have volume. It's working. If I yell, it'll go towards the red. You feel me? Hopefully, sorry for uh, my hit. You know, gotta, gotta test it out. Boom. So in here, I just have some custom settings for this. Uh, I changed it to custom because I want it to always be 1080, 60. I used to have my color range on full, but I realized it kind of looked a little bit better on default. And for me, if you have like a uh, Go XLR or you're going to list, you're not going to be playing a multiplayer game or you need to talk to teammates or you're going to listen to music while you stream, I suggest doing output desktop audio wave out. Basically, what it does is it switches it from capturing it here and switches it to your, um, your computer audio. So as you can see, I can switch the properties of this to my actual, you know, where I can hear speaker music. Like, you know, I can play a song right now. Now it switched from the capture device to my computer. So basically all it's doing is saying, hey, capture the audio, but don't play it here. Play it on this audio track so we can mix it with, let's say we play some music, anything else. That's just, you know, that's just that. And uh, other than that, like I said, if this is from my, it's a big if. I don't even know where it's at, y'all. Hold on, give me a second. I got to get it. Thing. I don't know. Okay, hold on. Wait. I got to go. I see it. All right, chat, so I'm back. It'll be very hard to see. As you can see, I have the Elgato party chat board. Literally the 3.5 millimeter jack, but it splits into another 3.5 millimeter jack. Right here, it has like a spot for you to put 3.5 millimeter uh, jack. So what you would do with this is you plug this into the controller and it then captures your audio. That's what it does. Put this in here. You guys will hear the audio cut out. You'll see the desktop audio stop. So what I have to do to fix that is I go back to properties and I change. Oh wait, actually, no, I don't. Guys, fine, guys. We're gonna start all over. You go to configure video. You go to configure video. You should get this little window, or it'll pop up the game capture. Basically, these mean these mean the same exact thing. Yeah, I'll make it a little bit bigger. I don't even know if I can. Anyways. So first thing you want to do is the audio input. You want to change it from HDMI to analog only chat. Listen to me only if you have the Elgato party chat link, if you change it to analog while your headphones are plugged in, you're just going to, you're nobody's going to be able to hear your gameplay except for you. That sucks because what is the point of making videos if can't everybody else hear? So remember, if you have the party chat link plugged into your controller, if you do, you would you would then go about these steps. You would then go to change your audio to analog. If you can't find it in here, I'll show you guys how to do it in the game capture. It ba basically changing the settings in one place changes it everywhere all together. <coughs> I don't know what that was. But look, see, if I go to here, we would change to analog audio. Boom, okay, apply, exit, easiest cake now, right? Oh, great, yes. Oh, wait, where's my sound at? Property. It's not capturing sound for some reason, chat. Okay, let's see. We got to figure something out. Configure the video. It's under HDMI audio. It won't apply. That's what it is. It doesn't want to apply. I can click it, but I can't apply it. I don't know why. Let's figure it out. Okay, chat. I don't know what happened. All I did was just turn it up a little bit, and I can like barely hear it. I guess it has to do with the sound settings. But yeah, as you can look at the desktop audio, I have it outputting desktop audio. Yes, outputting desktop audio. So basically, I have my headphones plugged into my PC, so I can play music while I'm streaming and listen to that, hear my alerts, all of that good stuff. I'll hear everything. I don't have speakers played. Um. Yeah, if we did capture audio only, I'm pretty sure it just switches. It won't switch for some reason. That's weird. It says analog audio. That, I don't know. Hold on. Wait. Figure this out. Why is it? It won't let me apply any settings. Good. Close it out and start it over. Usually, sometimes that happens. But, chat, long story short, turn HDCP off. Plug 
PlayStation out to the end of your capture card, from the out of the capture card into your monitor, USB-C from capture card into your computer, and if applicable, chat party link from Elgato into the controller if you're playing multiplayer games or games that have chat audio. See? Boom, simple, chat, boom. Okay, we got this plugged up. See, I'm not getting audio. That's my bit. I'm not getting an audio reading right here. That's that's what I have a problem. I can hear it if I plugged it in. It's just not switching. So let's go to property. Configure video to analog audio. It won't let us apply it. It's so weird. So I'll just continue to do what I usually do, which is output desktop. Sends it to my desktop and now the desktop. So as you guys can see, we'll just start up I don't know, I'm pretty sure. This is just to test it out as you guys can see in and then look I can switch even to switch over from this. Uh, excuse me to look. Okay. I don't know what's going on chat. I'm an unprofessional youtuber. I told y'all that but y'all just gonna work with me because I'm the one helping y'all out So as you can see you can see it and I'm playing a game you see the desktop audio going up I have my headphones connected to my computer so I can hear everything I can play music right now I can start mixing I can open a Google, you know, I could do whatever as you can see we are playing in probably 1080 I'm pretty sure this is not to confirm this is 1080 I'm using my Elgato H60 S. So as you can see, we are playing at 1080 60 hertz with the Elgato Connect. Boom. That's it, chat. So hopefully this video helps you. Hopefully, uh, any any other questions? Hopefully, I know, like I said, this is really like my first tech support, trying to really help somebody out. So if you have any questions, any concerns, you guys can hit me up on any of my social medias. Make sure you guys leave a comment down below. I'll make sure to read them, get back to you guys. Try to be as helpful as I can. Yeah, I will also be doing more videos in the future for tech support and when new things come out. So make sure you guys smash that subscribe button and turn on the bell to get notifications. And uh, I will be out of here. Catch your boy over on Facebook live playing Apex, playing God of War, Spider-Man, Cyberpunk 2077. It doesn't matter. I'm playing it all when it comes out. So chat, make sure you make sure you follow and subscribe. Bye -bye.